Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I have something that's fairly rare because it's a pre-release sample. <laughs> Teeling Revival Volume 5. So this was actually stored in X bourbon barrels and then it received a finish in brandy and cognac casks very interesting and this is the final release of the revival series this is number five so 12 years old 46 percent um 15 000 bottles worldwide and i now belong to the celtic whiskey club and they are so generous and nice that they actually send from dublin with air mail to me here in northern germany these little tiny samples a few times a year and it says dear celtic whiskey members our second sample of 2018 is a superb new release from teeling whiskey the teeling revival volume 5 is a single malt irish whiskey that was initially aged in ex bourbon barrels and then finished in a combination of brandy and cognac cask this is the fifth and final release in this popular series and is bottled at 12 years old and at a strength of 46 percent just 15,000 bottles have been released and the whiskey has not been subjected to chill filtration brandy finished whiskeys are quite rare but you may start to see more of them cropping up as the cast seems to work very very well with irish whiskey i must admit hope you enjoyed this sample all right so um i have not been um excited about the revival series so far i must admit all right um i did the german um video already this is my english video and we have a um, facebook online tasting where i need a little bit and so i'm just going to use this now um the number two the number three the number four really really weren't my thing um they're very that those different type of cask finishes with white light um, wine with rum and so on i really really had the feeling the entire time that um teeling took those old um stored barrels from coolie they just had them laying around for 12 14 15 years and they were like okay what can we do with this that's very special oh i know we're gonna give it a finish and the finish wasn't enough to get rid of that old barrel mm, taste because Cooley back then was just interested in producing, 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 and they produced a lot and they used second and third and maybe even fourth filled barrels, bourbon barrels. And nah. so in America, once four years, first fill in Ireland, another three years, second fill, another three years third fill another three years and don't even think about the fourth fill all right so we're talking like 14 years of different different things happening there no and you really get that old wood feeling which is not great um now this is a little bit different so first of all my nose let's nose this Ooh, jj Corey the gale um excellent bonded whiskey um Louise in Ireland makes the, she takes her barrels to the distillery, say fill them up, and she takes them back to her um, dung house, um, her warehouse with a lane with a with a clay um, floor, and she lets them just mature in that salty sea maritime air on the coast of Ireland, and um, she mixes the different barrels from the different distilleries and she makes a wonderful creation and the jj Corey um the gale was fantastic and the thing that i got the most on that and i think it was the 28 or 26 year old um bushmill whiskey that was in there the single malt was lime and i get a little bit of lime here as well mm, this is very very nice irish whiskey 12 years old not extremely old maybe that actually helps and what I really, really enjoy is this brandy cask finish. Um, 2017 Woodford Reserve. This is the 18. I don't have the 17 anymore because it sold out, um, at least over here. Um, the Woodford Reserve Masters Distillers used those brandy casks because that was the first edition of the um, Woodford Reserve Master um, collection that I was actually ex excited about. And I must admit, this is also a little bit exciting.
Cognac is also not something they use a lot. I know that Glen Breton used it up in Canada for their single malts, and that was very, very interesting. That's wrong. I think it was um, Canadian Club that used it. I'm so sorry. Ooh. Oh, this is good. This is really good. 46%. This, as I said, is a pre-release sample. So by the time this video comes out, maybe it's already been released. My German video is going to come out within a day or two of the, of the filming of this. And therefore, it's amazing. Oh, this is very, very nice. I get a lot of um, vanilla. I get a lot of like an apple um, jelly. Nice. As I said, I get the lime. Now, the little toasting, the to toasting, the tasting note says, hints of toasted almonds, which I don't get, give way to freshly pressed grape and citrus. Well, I had the apple um, jelly with the lime, and they said pressed grapes with the citrus. Let's try it. Mmm. All right, the first thing I noticed was the 46%. It tickles a little bit in your mouth. You do get that alcohol. I've had some 55% stuff lately, and the alcohol has just been not even apparent. Now, the 55 stuff was 30-year-old, 25-year-old stuff, and it was amazing. Uh, this is, as I said, 12 years old, so you still get that alcohol on the on the tongue, a little bit in the, in the cavity of your mouth, it's there. But then you get a nice fruitiness. Um, I'm going to actually go for my lime. I'm going to continue to talk about my apples. And I do have a little bit of a pear, like a Williams pear um, moment. It's really, really nice, enjoyable. What I don't get, and that's what they write, they read about, they write about here once again, is the creamy honey intermingles with floral notes, cinnamon, and lemon peel. I have lime, but who knows? Um, cinnamon, mm -mm. it's a little peppery, it's a little hot, tiny bit, but it's, I don't, that's cinnamon, I don't know. If you want to have fireball, you know what cinnamon is. This isn't, this isn't even close to that. Um, and then it says here, and this is interesting, that the finish is a dry finish. I must admit there's a little bit of a dryness in my mouth. It doesn't, but it is there and I do notice it. Um, and what's very, very nice about this revival is um, all the, the other three that I had basically, it come in and then, and this actually goes, wee, and that's fantastic. That finish really, really helps here. And it says, I'm drying a dry finish with lingering notes of toasted almond and wood. I know exactly how toasted almonds taste, and I really, really don't get that here. <laughs> I don't know who wrote this, but I'm not agreeing with what they I do not agree with what they wrote. Oh, it's so nice. It's almost better on the nose than it is on the palate, and on the palate, it's actually nice. I think I'm going to one, one some more here. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Um... One, two, three, four, five. I have no idea why I'm doing five. I've been doing five drops for the last month and a half or two months or so on. Um, wow, that's good. I'm going to give this a B plus. That's a very, very high note, by the uh, grade, by the way, for me. Um, oh, it actually opens up a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. Now I get a little bit of that vanilla honey type of moment. I might even be able to imagine rose petals. Mm, I'm going to stick with my pear. I'm going to definitely stick with my lime. A little bit of that wood is there. Vanilla. A little bit of a very, very nice, um, delicate bourbon wood vanilla moment. Mm, and last... Last drop. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I just kind of wanted to coat my mouth and just stay there and just evaporate in your mouth and just kind of enjoy every little drop here. 
Nice. Well done, Teeling. Finally, you got it right, according to my book. Now, I think the, the Teeling um, Revival Volume Number 4 was voted Whiskey of the Year 2017. I didn't like it, so this probably won't be voted Whiskey of the Year 2018, but I love it. And so maybe my tastes are different than the judges' tastes, whoever are the judges, who knows. But this is a very, very fine whiskey. I highly, highly recommend it. Now, I do not know what the price is because it's a pre-release sample. I expect it to be 129 um, euros over here in Germany, which would be like $150. That's a lot of cash to put on the table for a 12-year-old Irish whiskey. Um, can I recommend it? This is basically a C- minus for the, for the recommendation and the value for money. Uh, I think it's way too much. Um, and yet, if you look at the bottle, if you look at the... The box that it comes in, that is a collector's item, that is a eye catcher, that is something you show off. I mean, it's like this big, that cat, that little, um, the, 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 the box it comes in. It's really, really an expensive um, design. And um, this is the very, very last revival that they will do from Teeling. They originally did it because of the spirit of um, Dublin, that's the name of the distillery. Um, they started producing that was to comm commemorate the opening and the first year and the first year and a half and the second year and the first time they did this and so on. And so this is the very, very last edition that will have the last release and therefore um, well done, well done people. So like, subscribe, share and tell others about this crazy American over here in, in um, Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys, sometimes even things that aren't on the market yet. It's good to have connections. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, my videos come out. See you soon. Bye-bye.